before you give up, before you change, before you pack your bags and leave, before you, you decide it's not working, um, I want you to consider something. Uh, and, and um, you know, this, this is very close to my heart because we all go through challenges. You know, as a coach, I get so many of my students and clients, you know, uh, want to give up. They, they, wanna, they want to, to go back to, to the normal. They want to go back to the mundane. They want to go back to the trap of, of employment. Um, I get some other people, you know, they're giving up on their partners. They're giving up on their dreams. They're giving up on their children. It's, it's, it's heartbreaking. Uh, and, and sometimes it can also be quite heavy. Before you give up this time round, I want you to try something, okay? Um, I want you to try something, especially if you're one of faith, especially in God. Um, I want you to, to try something. Um, there's three things I want you to think about doing. And this also comes from somebody who's better than me, who coaches me, who mentors me. And he got me to answer these three things. He said, number one, um, Philip, before you give up, before you say, you know, you're, uh, it's not working. I want you to ask yourself a question in the mirror. I said, what do you mean? He says, first of all, Philip, do you believe in God? I said, without a doubt. He said, are you sure? I said, without a doubt. He said, okay, so if you believe in God and you believe that he has a purpose for you, where does your giving up now come in? Where do you come in to say that you're giving up right now if you have faith that God put something in your heart to do something? Now, this is easier said than done, especially for people who are, you know, if you're coaching somebody and you're well off and, you know, somebody's struggling, it's tough. It's, hard, it's tough to have those conversations. You know, it's tough to go uh, and start looking in the mirror and start looking, you know, and asking, you know, God, what, what is it? It's very tough. It's not easy. So whoever says it's easy, go and talk to God. Hey, it's not that easy. But maybe that is the reason why you need to do it. Maybe that's the reason you need to, to check in. Now, if you're not a believer in God, I'm sure you know there's a purpose why you're here. Ask yourself, what is the purpose? Why am I here? Is this part of the journey? Is this part of what I'm supposed to go through? After you answer that question, whatever comes up okay put it on the paper and then the next question he told me to do to to ask myself was have you had some successes in life yes have you gone through some adversity yes i want you to go and write down everything that you have been able to surmount everything you've been able to achieve all your successes all the things you have done in your life now hey i am you know above 40 <laughs> So there's, there's a lot of stuff I've been able to do. So I went and started writing and writing. And two things began to happen. Number one, initially it was like, I didn't want to do it. I was resisting it. I was like, oh, screw this, whatever. And then I continued to write, you know. Out of the blue, I was the first black supervisor. And then I went above all my peers. And then I quit my job in McDonald's. And then... I became a coach and then I did NLP and I was the only black guy in the class and I was the best student then and then I left that place and then I started a company against all odds and then I started you know whatever I have always all and boom one after the other I realized oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my I mean if you're a mom you give birth to three, four, five kids, you know, uh, or whatever you did. You know, if you're a mom, you're able to carry those those kids on your in your belly for nine months. If you're a guy, you've, you know, you, you, you've hustled and, and gotten fees and stuff out of the blue from nowhere. You know, you've gone and made something happen, you know. You've, you've, you've survived crazy stuff, you know. If you're like me, you've survived jail and walked in the night and done stuff. By the end of that exercise i was like what the hell was i even thinking i'm gonna go do this i'm gonna go whatever i was good to go okay why i had rediscovered you know sometimes because of life life beats you so much that you will forget what you're capable of and all of a sudden i realized how amazing i was how many people have touched in my life and you know, before you know it you realize oh my god i did this and i did that and did the bam snaps you out of that negativity and then the final question, he said, okay, 
What's the worst that can happen if you just decided that failure was not an option? What's the worst that can happen if you stuck with it and said, you know what? I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to do whatever it takes. What is the worst that can happen? That was a very interesting question for me because it got me going, man. So this weekend, wherever you are, whatever you're going through, I don't know. Uh, but if you're getting a little bit of a sticky situation and you're struggling a bit, or you're in a place where you're thinking, you know what, it's, it's not happening. I better change this or I better change that. Yes, there might be a real reason where the feedback is overwhelming that it's not for you. you got to change. That's fair enough. But if it isn't there, I urge you to really go through this exercise. It will change your life. Um, now, on the other side, it will also reset you in terms of what is required, in terms of taking charge of your mind and that negative language and, the, and your mind giving you all these excuses why you're going to fail and all that nonsense. On the other side, it also demands that you make a plan of what you're going to do, how you're going to change stuff. On the other side, there's got to be a certain grit, a certain desire, a certain decision to burn all the bridges and make sure that this particular position you're in never happens to you again. Give it a shot. I bet you you'll find that uh, it will help you out. And if it does, give me some feedback and tell me, hey, you know what, coach, that helped me. If it didn't, no worries. Either way, giving up is not an option. Until next time, you and I have the audacity to live life on our terms. And we deserve it.